Barbary. Sunday morning news. It's going to be short, but sweet. The observation of what's going on. It's quite amusing, really. And coffee, of course. Now, we have had some very enlightening times recently. And on Friday we saw the former partner of one Phil McConnell, i.e. Mr. David Hawkins, or as I like to call him, Walter Mitty, throw, throw uh, McConnell under the bus by basically stating, insinuating that he's a paedophile, and was involved in paedophile entrapments. And again insinuating that Christine Marcy was this raving, psychopathic lesbian. No evidence given, no facts, none whatsoever. And today we have another video instalment by the perpetrator of this site called CS the uh, Crowdsource the Truth, which is in itself quite an insulting thing, who's gone around accusing people of many things and is now whinging about being called a queen and attacking anybody and calling them liars. Well, here's my question. It's quite simple. You want people to be about the truth. Well, here's my question. Where's your evidence? Where's your facts that Christine Marcy is all of the above? You don't have it. We have proven, and I have proven beyond any shadow of a doubt, that Christine Marcy was none of any influence within the uh, creation and the formation of the Senior Executive Service. That was all down to Mr. Alan K. Campbell, Yul Sugarman, and of course, ultimately, Mr. President Jimmy Carter, the guy that signed it all into law in 1978. In fact, the head of the office personal management was Alan Campbell, and his director was... Sugarman. And Veterans and Labour's assistant director was one Christine Marcy at the beginning. And she stayed as assistant director for quite some time and, and, and she was an assistant director right through in the 90s as well. And in 2001 she left and retired from civil service in 2001. And her last job was to do computers for the small business administration. A sort of nice easy job before you leave. And yet this is the grand mastermind. But don't take my word for it. I will link a lovely audio discussion with her and an interview on The Federalist that was done recently. You can hear her for yourself and think, is this really a psycho? Or are the real psychos the very people that have been gang-stalking for 14 years? That's right, gang-stalking. Social engineering and gang stalking. Hmm. And isn't it irony that this interview happened on Friday, that four days earlier, that I had a little tete a tete with our friend Mr. Kevin Ship, who two days ago was on the same channel talking about Adam Schiff and liars, and here is a guy that's lying. I'm just confused as to who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. So why don't we put all the evidence out there, fact-based evidence, with documentation, which I've done. Hawkins has never done any of that. Hawkins comes out with a bizarro, and the best one of all was Mendenhall. Because he gave us the evidence in front of us that showed it was done in 2011, and not 1978. As you are still trying to push out there. That in itself is social engineering because you're taking something that happened in 2011 and trying to insinuate it in something that happened 30 years prior. Wow. As you have the audacity to call people liars and social engineering, that is blowing my mind. And to attack Tom Thumb again because he dared to ask the question, oh and by the way, Hawkins admitted on many things on this video, which I have got saved now, and I suggest other people save it, because quite literally there is a gold mine of evidence in there, including the fact that he was saying that he got paid $500 a month from Phil McConnell, but he said he got it from his pension. Hmm. Well, here's a clue that everybody should be listening to. As I said, short and sweet, it's a Sunday morning news. Look at the Veterans Ranch that McConnell, Hawkins and everybody else was pushing. See how much money they raised for that before they evolved into the Children's Crusade. And the reason why Denise, his wife, couldn't get in the US is because he didn't pay any maintenance. 
for his own child. That's right. The guy that's going on about saving children couldn't even pay maintenance for his own child. Priceless. Priceless. Have a lovely Sunday. <laughs>